Man, I gotta say, it feels good to be back out here on my own, on the butter boat, by myself, going for salmon today. Rigging up these anchovies with these super flex baiters. I've got about six of them all rigged up here, ready to go. So when I get a fish, or if I get a small fish, or if I lose a bait and I need to change out, I can swatch, swap them out really easily. Super easy to tie these things so you don't have to buy them. Let me show you how to do it. So you got your bait here. This is about a five inch anchovy. And I want the hook to be coming out of the back right there on the tail, pointed down. Now this is a barbed hook. I'll have to pinch the barb down, but that's about where I want it. So I take some wire. This is a quarter pound wire, 0 0.032 diameter safety wire. Get about what I think I need. Squeeze down the end there just so it forms a nice little little point because that's going to go through the bait now you don't really need this anchovy to give you an idea but just to show you this little point right there on the wire is going to go out of the nose of the anchovy the hook's going to be right about there so i want about that much wire so you'll take your wire here make sure you got a nice little little point there at the end you put it through the front of the eye these little holes right there boom and you feed it down maybe about an inch uh, maybe a little more than an inch inch and a quarter you can get it started with your fingers just start bending it around the shank of the hook as close to the eye as you can then grab with the flat pliers grab the wire and just start twisting the hook around and as you do this it'll pull tight this is what's going to keep the wire attached to the hook when you get a fish so just hold it pretty tight squeeze down and just do a bunch of twists until you can't twist anymore all right like that now you take your needle nose pliers and just bend those tips down so it's nice and, and even simple super simple there's your flex baiter pretty much you got that point there we can even squeeze that down just a little bit more so the next thing you're going to need is a little extra hole right here that's where you're going to put the nail so you just open that wire up just a little bit pinch it with your needle needle nose pliers about a quarter inch below the top and that's it just start twisting and it'll form two loops for you just twist it twist it twist it don't hold it too tight because you need that one twist to happen or just like that now you can let it come down just a tad and just twist it twist it twist it about 12 13 times and there you go that's your your baiter right there flex baiter super simple easy as that now you would take your bait and you want it to come out right about there find that spot poke a hole in the scales try not to play with the, the bait too much you, you know you want to keep it looking fresh and you'll feel that wire run down the spine of the fish all the way up up to the head and it should come right out of the mouth and see that right there that's where you're going to attach a little clip to and on the bottom where the extra hole is that's where you're going to put a nail this is a three quarter inch nail size 18 stainless steel so you do like that with the rubber band pull that tight right push the nail through all the way to the head once you get to the head Pull the rubber band all the way around the nail on top, back around the nail on the bottom, and boom, everything's tight. The gills won't open up. Give it a little bend like this. Boom, baby. Now you're fishing. So once I get out to the fishing spot, I can just throw them on. And this is the leader here. Show you really quick. Might as well show you before I get out there. About a four foot leader, bead swivel on top. And this is going to a ball bearing swivel right there and about eight inches going to a little snap and that snap is going to snap on to those wire super flex baiters whatever you call them 30 pound test line about a four foot leader dude these guys have the exact same boat as me what the hell you know they bought it from watching my videos that's crazy look at that freaking whaley right there a whaley 370 exactly the same as me what the hell are the chances of that Hey, I, I saw that boat. I was like, man, that looks kind of familiar. Did you have it shipped like all the way from Florida? Same thing? Yeah. Damn, that's just, that's crazy. That's the only other one I've seen out here. That's Ken. That's Ken. Ken? All right, nice to meet you guys. I'm Matt. All right, you guys going to stick around here? Yeah. Okay, are you guys on radio? Yeah, 68. 68? Okay, I'll, I'll be on there too. All right, you too. Good luck. It's crazy. All right, well, I'm just gonna start off with the downrigger on this side. Usually I have it on that side, but gotta do a little fine tunement. So I'm gonna slap on this four pound weight, 
It's going on right there. Got the line right there. And that, my friends, is going to the straight bait. No flasher, not gonna go crazy fancy. Ooh, another kayaker out here. Gonna give it a shot. Why not? My down rip, my uh, my fish finder's not working for some reason. It beeps, but it doesn't turn on. That's annoying. But we're gonna make this work. We're gonna find some fish. If we don't find any here, we're going over to Pacifica. Trying over there. So, all right, let's get a good one. Let's get a good one that I like. So here we go. There's my clip, and that's all there is to it. I'm just gonna clip it to the bait. And like that, I'm gonna give it a little bend and that's gonna spin like crazy. So let's see if it spins. Get this thing out there, start fishing. Start fishing, y'all. Oh, did I mention I'm going to Alaska tomorrow too? It's got a nice little spin on it. So 25 feet back and then I'm gonna slap it on the downrigger. Now every turn on this downrigger is one foot. So let's go 30 feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 28, 29. 30, uh, let's go 32, 31, 32. All right, tighten that up. Boom, that's not gonna move. Tighten up my rod so it has a nice little bend to it so it snaps off when a fish bites. Drags are set good, or drag is set good. We fishing, baby. I have no idea where I am right now in this fog. You can get lost so easily out here when it's foggy. <laughs> Come on, a couple of kayakers, man. This kayaker just popped into view. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be the smartest thing to make a run in this thick fog right now. Can't see anything. I'm gonna get a fish though. That's for damn sure. Fish home, baby. I need, for some reason, I just had this feeling that there was a fish right here and I got one. Feels like a decent size, might be a shaker, can't really tell, but whew. now let me loosen the drag up a little bit. Got one. Heck yeah, dude. Right by the can. Let me, it's hard to tell where I'm at because there's no markings. Okay, there's the green buoy. That's my only reference point. Feels decent. Might be short, might be a small. Been out here for about 10 minutes. That's a salmon though, that's for sure. Making a run over here. No, that's a keeper. That's a keeper, baby. Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one, actually. I'll let him run if he wants to. See what I can do here. Stay down, stay down. Come on over here. Come on, stay down. That's a nice king salmon right there. Oops, knocked my fish finder off. That's a hundred percent keeper. That's a nice one. That's like an eight pounder, maybe. Come on in the net, baby. Oh, Jesus. Got him, fish on, baby. Let's go. That's one. That's one for the day. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that thing. Let's make sure he's not a silver. Open up. Yep, black gums. Got him. Look at the little head on him. Weird looking fish. One. Two, three. Well, four, five, six. Let's get the hook out, re-rig, and get back out there. That's what's up right there. Tied by myself, that's super flex baiter. Now you know how to tie it too. And now you know how to get them just like this. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we're gonna have salmon collars today, cooked with some cinnamon, some vinegar, some garlic, salt, pepper, mixed with some olive oil. This is gonna be an interesting thing. I've never tried this before, but I just thought of this recipe last night. Hell yeah. Got him. Right there in the lip. He wasn't getting out. Whoo! Let's go. 
Let's go. I'm gonna start trolling right now before I bleed him. Get another one of these, ready to go, just like that. And all I have to do is unclip that and clip it back on. Yep, right there. That's what I'm talking about. King salmon, y'all. Fat, too. Fat guy. Hell yeah. I gotta say, I feel so blessed to be able to come out here half a mile from the harbor and catch the fish that, that I do or that we do. Anybody who lives in the Bay Area should feel the same way. We're so blessed, man. Like, it's beautiful out here. Who gets to come out here so close to shore, catch wild Pacific king salmon, catch rockfish that people pay $15 a pound for. I mean, it's just a spectacular place to live. The more I fish away from home, the more I appreciate it every time I come back. It's just an amazing thing to live so close and be able to fish here. We're so blessed to live in the area we do. I absolutely love the Bay Area. Well, it's been about 15 minutes. Nah, actually, it's been about 25 minutes since I checked my bait and no bites. So it's always good to check your bait every once in a while. You don't want to check it too often, but you don't want to wait too long. You don't want to be going out here trolling for an hour only to find out you either have no bait, you got seaweed on it, or the spin isn't right. So I'm going to check it now. If I need to, I'll rebait. If not, I'll just drop it back down. Maybe the bite is just slow right now. Oh, damn, bait looks damn near perfect. So got a really nice spin to it too. I'm just going to drop it back down. Oh, there's pelicans. Actually, I'm not going to drop it back down. I'm just gonna go over there where the pelicans are and then drop down. I'm gonna chase this bait right here. All these birds right here. There's gotta be something going on here, like a whale or something. But whatever it is, I'm getting the heck out there, getting my bait on this thing. There's a huge bait ball right there. I'm gonna get right into it. Oh, Jesus. Freaking birds are taking my bait. They just dive bombed the crap out of my bait. Oh, Jesus, they're right there. Oh, I got no bait now. God damn it. Well, switching it up to the apex. If there's, if there's salmon out here, they'll, they'll bite this too. That's for sure. Oh, come on. All right, let's get this thing out here. Apex, baby. Damn, I think I missed my... Oh, there's salmon right here. There's a bunch of them. Oh, they're all over the place. They're all over the place. I'm gonna get bit right here. Got one, got one, baby. Woo, woo. Hey, you guys need to get over here right now to where the birds are. They're, they're all over on top. Woo! Look at that. It's taking drag like crazy. Dude, salmon are freaking everywhere right now. Oh, hell yeah. Woo! Woo! I'll get in here. Come on. I'll get over here. Oh, they're hot, man. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. On the apex, just drop the apex down. Come on, get over here. Took a lot of line at first. Oh, come on, did I lose him? No way, he's running towards me, right? He's running towards me, right? He's running towards me, tell me he's running towards me. I didn't lose him, did I? No, no I didn't. No, he's coming here. Yeah, he's coming in. Woo, woo, oh yeah. Oh, he's not done yet. He's not done yet. Dude, I found that little school of bait road over here quick got him come on baby let's get this net out here okay we're still trolling I don't know what kind of fish this is but I saw some big ones I saw some big fish getting the bait he's not done yet
Come on in here. Whoo, this is a nice fish on the apex. All right, now this is what I wanted to tell you. When I'm trolling like this, I got this left-handed, whoo, he's not done yet. He's not done yet. I wanted to show you, I got this left-handed reel and when I'm trolling, I'm trying to keep tension on the fish, right? So when I drop this net in the water, the current is going to take the net. So if I try to, to net him with my right hand, the net is going to be behind the fish. Woo! So I want to net him. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish right there. So I want to net him on this side. Let's get him over here. Holy moly, that was a huge amount of color. Oh, that's a big freaking fish. So I want the fish on top. I want to pull my rod with my right hand up and scoop him with my left hand. So let's get him in. Let's get him in. Oh, that's a nice looking fish right there, yo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Unless that's a freaking bonito. No, that's a salmon. That's a good salmon. That's a good salmon right there. Come on now. Oh, oh! Oh, sh God. Oh, man. Right on top. That was freaking crazy. That was a big salmon. That was like 20, 30 pounder. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Dude. God damn it. Oh! Damn it! Can't stop thinking about that. That was epic. Never seen anything like that before. It's like a drug. Now I'm trying to get another fix, trying to find another group of birds diving. Yo, there's a ton of birds over there. Holy moly, more than last time. And there's no boats over there. I'm getting my ass over there quick. Let's go, go, go. Still diving. Oh, there's a school of them right there. Same thing as last time. Birds diving. Birds diving. Let's stick to the same game plan. Let's get over here first. Right here, right here. Oh, well, there's tons of bait everywhere. Come on, there's gotta be a salmon in this thing. Come on, salmon baby, come on. Come on, come on, bite baby. See them all? Freaking another school of them over there. Well, I guess things have slowed down enough so I can just clean this salmon now. Measured it. It's a good 25 inch salmon. Looking really chunky and really funny actually. Like look at the size of its mouth compared to its head. Like that's a weird looking salmon. So this right here, it's pretty cool little, little knife. It's a really sharp, short blade, but it's got the spoon in the back. It's a salmon spoon because there's that bloodline in salmon, you scrape it out. Let's see what he's got in his stomach. Not much food in her though. Well, actually, yes, there is. There's a partially digested one, exact same size as what I was using. Maybe a little bit smaller. So inside a salmon, damn, look at that bright orange meat. So nice. There's a thick, thick, thick bloodline. Makes it really handy to have something on the knife too. That'll all just come right out. And if you're doing this right over the boat, make sure you have a good grip on the salmon. Well, I know y'all can probably tell how much I want to catch another salmon, but sometimes it just doesn't go your way. I had my chance. That one's cleaned up. I think I'm gonna go, go in. There's some more birds diving over there. I'm gonna head over there. If I don't get anything, then that's just my luck today. All 
All right, well, we found a nice little spot to do the catch and cook. Got all the ingredients over here. Actually, I'm missing the apple cider vinegar. I think that's going to be a nice little touch to this. But first thing we're going to do is fillet this little bad girl up right there. Nice belly meat. And I'm going to leave a good chunk on these collars, a good, good amount of meat. As always, it helps with a really sharp knife. Last time I butchered the salmon, 100% butchered it. This time it's going all right. That's a nice chunk of meat right there. All right, let's get the other one off too. Man, that's a nice piece of meat right there. Make sure your knife stays clean when you do this job. All right, so this right here, man, that's, that's a thick piece of skin right there. There's a lot of fat in there. That would actually be really good. I should eat that, but anyway, this is the piece that I'm going to smoke. I'm going to take this home and smoke it. But for now, I'm going to chunk it up a little bit. I'm going to do one piece here. This will be a meal for later. Also, this is what I'm going to throw into the grill right now. So this is no pin bones here. I'm going to mix that with the collars and the belly portion. And that should be freaking delicious. Shameless plug here, Fisherman's Life shirts, hoodies, beanies, and hats are on sale at fishermanslife.net. Check it out. So while, I, before I marinate the fish, I've got this grill here. It's gonna light up these coals. Nice little bed of coals here, instant light. First thing we're gonna do, I don't know, about six ounces of avocado oil. That's gonna be our marinade. We're gonna put it in here. A little bit of garlic. Let's just eyeball it, what we feel is right. Okay, some salt for sure. This will help help it absorb into the meat. It's regular old black pepper. This is a weird ingredient, but I feel like it'll go well. Some cinnamon. I have no idea. Let's see how it turns out. Mix that around. It smells good. And the last ingredient, I feel like this is going to be pretty interesting. Apple cider vinegar. I think all that sour, that bitter, taste is going to burn right off it's going to cook right off and all that we'll be left with is a sweet apple flavor so I'm going to pour a good amount in hopefully that's not too much collars and one more belly piece so there we go we're going to marinate this just let this sit let this soak until the coals are nice and white nice and hot, and then we're gonna throw it on the grill. Mmm, smells good. Let's see how this grills up. One collar there. Well, the good thing about cooking like this is that this little belly piece is going to be done first, and it is just about done. I couldn't do this video without incorporating just a little bit of butter, so I've got a little baster here, and we're gonna baste these pieces of salmon in some butter and we're going to let that butter crisp up also how about this other belly piece oh my gosh look at that that's almost perfect right there is that done let me see is that done oh, 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 oh. yes it's done i'm going to alaska tomorrow so i really wanted to get this salmon trip in and it was a success. I still can't believe I lost that one big one. That was crazy. Let's see with this weird concoction I thought of last night. Little piece of the filet right here. It's good. Nothing too special on that one. Let me try that belly piece. I think this is going to be so good with the skin too. It's almost like not even meat. It's just like fat, which I like. Damn, that's good. I do have a little sense of that apple cider vinegar. A little bit of that cinnamon also. I don't know, maybe modified a little bit. This recipe could work. All right, let's get this collar off here before we for sure overcook it. Ho, 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 it's like an angel wing right there. <sighs> After a long day of fishing. Ooh, I like that cinnamon. Weird little ingredient, but that cinnamon has the aftertaste. Well, I'm gonna finish this up, that's for sure. This right there is the collar, part of the collar at least. Oh, all right, people say these, this is the best, the very best part of a salmon. I can see why they would say that. A lot of fat mixed in with a lot, some of that lean meat. Would you like a piece of salmon? I just, oh, I just cooked some up. That's that's what that's what I've been doing over here. Oh yeah. Yeah. What do you put on it? I tried something weird. I put 
apple cider vinegar, okay. cinnamon, yeah. uh, salt, pepper, garlic, and just let it marin Very good. marinate in some avocado mm -hmm. oil. Yeah, it turned out Thank you much. pretty good. Yeah, you're welcome. Thought you might want some. Seem like a fisherman yourself. Good stuff. Have a good one. Yeah. Approved. All right. Well, I'm going to head home, and I'm probably just going to finish this on the road myself. Damn, that looks good, huh? Well, I guess I'll see you in Alaska. Mm -hmm.